here's a scary question. Hey, Ballers and Brooks. Uh, love the show. This is Randy from Virginia calling. I just had a quick question. So I'm locked into my playoffs right now. But I'm curious, is it wrong to openly tank for playoff positioning? I probably can't get a buy, and my team and the, my opponent in Week 13 is already eliminated from the playoff. So just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Thanks. Yeah, oh, Ooh. I get it. I get it. I've been there. You're looking at the bracket, the seating, yeah. and you're going, "Oh man, if I lose this game, I'm gonna have a much easier run at the playoffs." It's wrong. It is wrong. So here's how it's wrong. You, the question was, is it wrong to openly tank? And it always is. You have to be sly about it. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta slide in like, ooh, I don't really believe this is the better matchup. I mean, you can't just put in garbage players. You can't leave your roster unfielded. But you are making the choice as to who to play. They don't know what you're thinking behind the scenes. Go with real high-variance right? players. I think you guys are right. I mean, I'm not. You can't get on the high horse and say that you're going to do everything for the integrity of the entire league in every circumstance without, you know, it's disingenuous to your own team's chances. And if you believe that your team gets better by losing a matchup, it's hard to resist that human nature aspect of it. I've seen professional teams do this. Right. It's difficult in fantasy because somebody you have to realize somebody else is going to pay the price for what you do. Somebody else will miss the playoffs. Somebody else will miss their seating based on the fact that you're making a decision about your team. And i that's where the balancing act yeah. is. And Somebody else difficult. might miss the playoffs when I put my best team in there and kick them out. I mean, It's hard because you can't. You, you have to draw a line in the sand. Yes. And if you don't draw the line in the sand, it leads to problems for your league. For example, what's to say you don't get a question about, it's in my best interest to drop good players because – they will get picked up by another team that will beat an opponent that I need to have beaten. That's in the best interest of your team, but then you're damaging the integrity of the league there too, right? It's a slippery slope. I, if I, I drop players so Mike can pick them up to beat Jason because I want to make the playoffs over Jason, that's the same logic. But, but that infers you know, kind of like a one-sided collusion where two teams are working together to beat one team. That's always going to be wrong. The line in the sand to me is obviously – Collusion is a, a, a clear line in the sand. Two teams cannot work together to beat a team. And, you know, And then the other line in the sand, and I think this should be a rule in all leagues, is you have to field a legitimate roster. That's right. a, you, you can't leave people off your roster um, you know, and be like, oh, I'm benching my team. That would be objectively wrong. Yeah, I think as long as you're playing guys, I it's, it's hard to say that Playing a suboptimal chance to win is the wrong thing to do if, if it's the right thing for your team. Now, having said all that, it's real easy to look at the matchup coming ahead and then you screwed the pooch on your process and now you've put yourself up against a team who blows you out. Yeah, and you didn't think you could miss the playoffs, but all those other teams yeah. won and then you lost. How would you feel this week, Jason? Because you are in our league of record. You're like tied with two other people. You have more points. You're, you're in the playoffs. How would you feel if one of those other teams did that to the, the opponent that you needed to have defeated? Here's How the, would you feel? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I wouldn't know. Because I'm not talking about Oh, like, you would know. You I'm would not have talking that, like, You oh, would have that matchup undressed. They played Michael Gallup over Michael Thomas. No, I'm talking, you know, that's that would be where, you know, it's it's. You look over and they got a bench just full of points. But I that's would. The, that's just, I'm just illustrating the. Two sided equation. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Feel bad. If you've got Michael Gallup and Calvin Ridley, you can make the argument, you know, look, Gallup's been Certainly. hotter than right. Calvin Ridley, and I'm going to choose to put him in. You are winking throughout your lineup process <laughs> this week. Get Zooks! You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button.